Hello everyone, Daryl here. How are you guys doing today? Um, today, we're going to be showing you a little bit of maintenance tricks and procedures for the KitchenAid stand mixers. Commercial duty, um, also household duty. They've been making these things for years. And my wife, who does wedding cakes, some of the best wedding cakes you'll ever see and taste, has used the KitchenAid mixer exclusively for at least the last 30 years, maybe longer. Uses them so much, or at least she used to back when she was doing this full time. So um, they are pretty much bulletproof, long lasting, super durable, and very powerful mixers. But just like everything else, there's a few different maintenance things that need to be performed on occasion. And one of these we're going to show you today involves the electric motor brushes that are located behind these screws on each side of the mixer. What happens is over time the brushes wear down to a small size and they start vibrating. First the first symptom is vibration which you won't notice except with a little extra noise maybe but you'll also notice uh, you'll notice sparking coming from this groove here where your speed control switch is. This is speed control switch and when the brushes start to get bad, you'll see a whitish green spark emanating from this gap around the switch right here. If we look right now, I think some sparking there. I don't know if you can see it. We're going to try and see if we can show you the sparking in here. There you go, you can see it sparking. That's a sign of bad brushes. And it's not an electrical problem with the switch. There's actually no electronic controls at least on these older commercial lift bowl models, there's no electronic controls behind this switch. The only thing behind this switch is a steel and plastic coated rod that goes from here to the back corner of your speed control board to control your power for the motor. So some of the newer model ones do have that, but they're different than this one. They're newer, they're a little bit lighter duty, and instead of having the solid sealed unit with the screws that come up through the base, they have two screws located like here and here on each side. And if that's the model you have, that's a newer model. They'll still have the same brushes, but it won't have the same speed control mechanism in it. And we'll go into all that on the next video when we talk about servicing and replacing the speed control mechanisms on this. But we want to concentrate today on just the brushes. So let's have a quick look. First thing to do when we're getting ready to change the brushes that we think might be a problem. One more symptom of a bad brush is if you go to turn it on and nothing happens, it won't start. But then you take your screwdriver, a little tool, and you like whack on it a little bit, just lightly, very lightly, just to give it a pitch, and then it comes on. That could be a br brush sticking or not aligned properly because it's gotten too worn down. All right, so we're going to pull the plug, boom, no more plug, and we're going to get a straight headed slotted screwdriver. We're going to insert it into the brush holder cap, twist it counterclockwise, you know, three or four turns while you're pushing pressure in on it because you don't want it to pop out. There's a spring behind it. If you're not careful, it'll pop out. It's trying to pop out now. We'll just carefully hold it and then we'll grasp it with two fingers and we'll pull it straight out. And there's three parts to this brush assembly here. This is the brush. And it's got a little bit of dust on it because it's wearing down and you can see how short it is. It's actually wore down to about a quarter inch, which is the service limit on these is five sixteenths of an inch. So and once you get down to close to a quarter inch, it's pretty much shot. Time to replace them. And they're not that much money. You can get them on eBay or Amazon for six or seven dollars for a pair of them, including shipping. You can get them from several different appliance websites, too, for not much more money than that also. Um, anywhere you want to get them, order them. And... We're going to replace them. They say with three parts to it. There's the brush itself with the spring. It comes with the spring, and this is what you get when you order the brush. You get a pair of these, two springs and two brushes attached to them. There's also the brush holder with the spring and the brush cap. Neither of these parts are ever really need to be replaced. They don't move. They just this one's got a little spring behind it, but 
These never go bad, unless you lose one while you're doing the job. You know, there's really not any reason to change these. Now let me show you a close-up on the brush itself, because it's not perfectly square all the way around. I'm going to walk behind to make sure we've got a good view of this here. Having a hard time zooming in because there's so much in the field of vision right now. But, I don't know if you can see, I don't think you can, but instead of being four perfect corners on the brush, there's one corner right here on the top that has an angle to it. So you've got three squared 90 degree corners and then an angle across one side. That's a directional device to show you which way the brush goes in. The brush only goes in one way for this to work properly. And on the, in case you forgot which way it comes out, there's a cutout in there that it goes around. And you just carefully insert it, the new brush, and you get the cap with the spring housing. And put that over there, lightly push on it, give it a couple of finger tight twists until you feel it engaging and starting to go in. Get your slotted screwdriver back out and snug it right on up. There we go. And then the same thing, same thing on the other side. The other thing that you can do too, to make your motor run cleaner and a little bit more efficiently, I recommend this for all electronic motors and products, QD Electronic Spray Cleaner and Degreaser. And what you do is you just shake it up, insert the little straw into the tip so you have a controlled spray, and give it one little blast of KD cleaner in there. Now what that'll do is that'll coat the armature. What it does is it picks up all the debris and dirt from the carbon brush wearing down over the years. A little splash of that in there will coat that armature and clean a lot of that debris off of it and let it fall off inside. Alright, the final test on whether you got the brushes in right is whether or not it works. If you didn't get the brushes in right, you're not going to have any power to You can do this job, save yourself some money, and I say come back soon because I'm going to do a, another video. Let me show you something else here real quick. I'm going to do another video on how to open this up and repair the speed control circuit board and the main speed controller bracket. Alright, well we put the tripod down. We're going back to handheld. Just want to thank you guys for watching. Put that up. Have a great day and I hope you check out my other videos and if you find them useful and informative, share them with someone who might need to see how this works. Have a great day. Bye for now.